Hey, welcome Travel Trailer Tuesday. My name is Matt Smith here at Colton RV. We're, I'm located here in North Tonawanda. And what we're going to do today is this 2021 Keystone Passport that we have here. It's a 3400 uh, QD uh, for quad uh, bunks in the back. And they're big double double bunks. So you, uh, when you see the slide out in the room in the back there, you're going to be impressed with how much room there's back there. But being 34 uh, foot living space, this camper only weighs 7,525 pounds, dry weight, which is great. Uh, lightweight, half ton towable. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about is the actual ton weight on this is a thousand pounds. So you will need at least a thousand pound distribution bar, help you from sagging on the barber end of the truck. Um, fresh water tank is 43 gallons. Your wastewater is 38 gallons total. And your gray water is 38 gallons total too. Um, you got two 20 pound propane tanks on this and the total length on this is 38 feet 4 inches so from the very tip of the tongue to the very back of the bumper um, 8 foot wide and it's 10 feet 11 inches tall so when you're going under the bridges if you see a 10-5 bridge you can't go under that or you rip your AC unit off here so it's the last thing you want to do on this you do have power tongue jack on this so you up and down power here uh, you need that. I don't think you'd want to crank a thousand pounds up and down. So that's a great uh, tool for you so you're not break, breaking your back while you're trying to uh, uh, crank it up and down. There is a manual backup on this a lot of people don't know about is this rubber boot up top here. Actually you pull that off right here and there's actually uh, um, a spot in there where you can take your crank down tool and crank it up and down. So if you lose power or the motor burns out, there's a backup to it, so that way you don't you don't get stuck out in the campground, not being able to hook it up to your truck. Um, you, this has actually a, ca a casing area in the battery area here, where you can actually put two batteries on it, which is nice. You get that. Uh, um, you want to go dry camping, extend your uh, weekend out a little bit longer. You got your solar prep on this too, so you can charge trickle charge those two batteries. So this is all you got to do. Plug it in right there. Get a panel, stake it in the uh, ground, get a 100 watt or 200 watt panel, and then uh, triple charge your battery, keeps everything running inside uh, that are 12 volt runnable. Fiberglass front cap painted, so aerodynamic. So if you get a good shot of this, you can see how aerodynamic this is. Um, so trail, trailing down the road, it's gonna help keep it from swaying it around. You got your stone guard um, facial here. So this is designed to flex direct those uh, stones down to the ground instead of back at your truck if you uh, pick up stones as you go around uh, going on dirt, uh, dirt roads and stone roads and that um, and this is a fiberglass fully fr uh, aluminum framed fiberglass uh, camper uh, what that does is that gets you that 7500 pounds dry weight uh, because you're using aluminum framing instead of wood framing in these you do have a magnet for these doors and it's insulated door with slam slam latch uh, locks on it. So when you close it, it's only one handle. So it's easy to open and close, one hand. Underneath, you're gonna see that uh, you got your pass-through area um, enclosed underneath the bed, so that way you're protected and you're inside your camper. Uh, but nice paneling in here, decorative. It looks very nice uh, when you're uh, looking inside it. Or, Fresh water tank fills right here. So if you're going somewhere while um, you know you're gonna be dry camping or you need the water, uh, you fill it up here. And you can actually fill, there's a little bubbler here so you can fill it until it actually bubbles out or you can go inside and watch the level gauge. If you only want like two thirds, watch it inside on the level gauge in there. When you get to the campground and you do have city water connection, then you just, that's where, right where it goes right here. So easy accessible getting into uh, the camp, uh, the hose from the camp down there. You got your cable system slides on this one, and uh, Keystone does a great job insulating their slides. Um, you got your gutter systems up there to help keep the streaking from uh, the rain coming off the roof, so it directs the water right off the roof here. And uh, a little bright out here today. Um, we'll go around, you can see that they put uh, windows on both sides of the slide and two in the middle here. So you get a lot of airflow in there and a lot of light inside. Being a big camper, it's nice to have those big windows in there. 50 amp service. So 50 amp, uh, if you guys watch me a lot, uh, 50 amp is made for two ACs basically. 
Uh, so if you have two ACs in the camper, then uh, you, you would need a 50 amp service to run both of them at the same time. Not all of them come with uh, two ACs, um, but it's nice to have, a, it's already pre-wired. When you have a 50 amp, you know it's pre-wired for that second AC. This one has two main slides on it. Uh, so this is your living area, your dinette and couch slide. And this is gonna be your bunk room. So it's a big room in the back uh, that has the four bunks in it. Underneath this, when the slide's closed, you got your uh, dump station right there, or your dump area. And your valves are right underneath there, your black and gray tank valves. You go around. In the back here, you got your bumper, your spare tire, and this one has an actual door to the bunk area. I'm not going to go in there because I'm not going to ruin the surprise yet how big this uh, room is, but you do have uh, LED light in the back for light for the step area, and uh, it has a backup camera on this uh, prep so that you can get a camera if you want to uh, uh, while you're driving since it is uh, 38, almost 38, over 38 feet long. The doors have friction hinges on them, so it's windy out right now. I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, but uh, the door's not slamming because it's friction hinge. Um, outdoor shower. off, you know, wash your legs, get all the sand off if you were at the beach and all that. Over here, as you go around to this side, I believe this is your cable hookup, satellite if you want to do a uh, satellite system in it. So this is a uh, key TV. Um, so what Keystone has done is simplified this. So what this key TV does is uh, when you plug your TVs in, it's not trying to search which uh, cable uh, is in there. Um, so it's all common wires, so there's less trying to fiddle around and figure out how do I get my cable box to work or my uh, antenna to work or satellite to work. Everything's simply uh, uh, set up so that way you can see or figure out how to use it a lot simpler. Uh, there is a, a stabilizer jacks. They're both uh, front and back. They're power. So you don't have to crank down those. Again, they're stabilizer jacks. They are not to level your camper. You still have to level the camper by backing up on the wheel shocks and use the tires to level the camper. These are meant to keep it from rocking around, not to lift it up. So they would actually bend uh, if you tried to do it that way. But with the power on it, there's a torque limit on it, so it's only going to go so far and it's going to wind down that it won't go anymore. Over here, you got 21 foot awning on this. Nice big awning on this. Easy to pitch. Pull the handle, uh, the arm down, angle it, and now your awning's pitched to one direction. You can do the other side the same way. Before you roll these in, this arm, it needs to be straight or you could bend it as it's coming in. So always make sure this arm is straight. You have a 30 pound shock up here too. So if you, it's raining out and you forgot to roll it in, it's going to self dump. So you have clutches here. It'll self dump itself and you get all that water pouring down all at once. So you don't want to be under that. Uh, it's happened to me a couple times. So that's a quick shower for you. I uh, spray pour here. So you got that uh, blue coil hose inside. Uh, this is a high pressure water. So it has uh, basically a uh, regular garden hose nozzle to it. And you could spray stuff down and, and wash things outside if you wanted to. That way you don't have to wash it inside and fill up your tanks. This has a black tank flush on it. So what that is, is the bathroom's over on this side. So while you're dumping your black tank, your toilet tank, you uh, hook up the uh, hose from the dump station and let it rinse out until you get all the uh, nasty stuff out of your black tank. So uh, that way it doesn't stink the next time you go out camping. Uh, nice feature to have here. You have outdoor hookups here for a TV. Uh, they mount, they give you an area here, say mount bracket right here, because there's supports back behind this area of the wall. So they uh, let you know uh, where to do this. You got your load equalizer axles. You notice these axles are farther apart. You look at between them. 
that helps uh, equalize the uh, ride as it's going down the road, so it's going to help with that sway uh, because the tires are a little bit farther separated. So the farther they are apart, the better ride you're going to get when it comes to a windy day and everything. Heat vents, your water heater, that's your furnace vent, there's your water heater. This is a propane electric water heater, six gallons. Uh, if you run the propane and electric at the same time, uh, you'll get a faster recovery. So it's like, uh, I think they say 12 to 16 gallons uh, an hour uh, recovery on it. So you could take back-to-back -back showers on it. Then for your fridge, and you'll see LED lights across. Uh, underneath the awning here and outdoor speakers so you have uh, the radio inside it plays inside outside so that way if you wanted to it's also bluetooth radio so you can sit outside with your phone play your own music and uh, play it outside that's your fridge and uh, your uh, vent for the fridge inside and then this is your uh, outdoor kitchen so this right here is really nice little dorm size fridge beverage, keep your beverages in there, and then this is a countertop that pulls out, and it pulls out this way, and then you got a cooktop, counter area, uh, so you can actually use this uh, cooking outside, easy to use, you got propane hookup underneath, so that's where this line would go, hooks up to the propane to the tanks, if you didn't want to use that, you can obviously use uh, that line to uh, run on uh, the grills and stuff, so you don't have to carry a, uh, an extra uh, propane tank with you. Put this back away. Put this back up. Nice, easy in, in and out. I'll close this. And uh, we're all set there. Uh, what we'll do now is uh, I want to talk about the floor in this for a second. So this is the brand new floor Keystone came up with. Uh, it's a composite floor. So you notice it's like mostly styrofoam and material in it. Um, what this designs to do, first, it's light. Uh, it takes a little over 100 pounds off the camper uh, with the lighter material. Um, it's solid and it's no organic materials in this, so it's not gonna retain moisture and mold up on you and uh, uh, swell and lift the floor like the laminates would do with the plywood underneath or the particle boards, uh, whatever they use. Um, they actually tested the, the durability of this. They left this in one of their factories, the entrance of their factory, and they had all their employees walk over for months at a time and uh, never gave way, never dented. Uh, so it's going to last a lot longer, which is great. And also, uh, um, the material actually breathes, so they actually left this underwater, and they only retained 2% water on it after uh, sitting underwater for a month. So, great materials, uh, less likely to mold up on you when you're uh, when you're out camping, and if you do end up spilling something or getting a leak inside, the floor is not going to swell up on you and uh, rot out, which is great. Which they all do that, right? Hopefully, all the manufacturers pick up on that. Um, you have your uh, uh, solid surface steps here, so this actually just folds right up, locks into place, and you get to your campground. These legs actually will adjust to your campground and put it down. And then when you're going in the camper, the camper doesn't rock around, so you don't feel everybody going in and out of the camper all day long. So, we're going to go inside now. Come on in. So, first thing you're going to notice inside uh, uh, the passports are the uh, vaulted ceilings. So you got high ceilings in here. So it does a couple things. It doesn't give you that cave-in effect like when you're in a smaller camper. Um, the arched roof actually gives you better runoff for the roof, so less water sitting on your ceiling or on your outside roof, and uh, less likely to, to be leaking too. Um, when you come in, there's actually, this is a motion sense light. So if you leave it on this setting, as you walk in, uh, the motion sensor will detect you. When you open the door, walk in, turn on for you so you don't have to fiddle around trying to find the lights. The other thing you have here is a nice closet. Look how big that is in there. It's got a light in there too. Gonna give you all that space to put stuff in there. 
underneath this is that's where that outdoor kitchen is. So they uh, they utilize that space for the kitchen. Here's your control panel. So your gas or your water heater, propane and electric. So you can run both at the same time, or you could just run propane. Or if you had a campground, it has plugs, or just run electric. The water pump here. So that's only going to be utilized when you're actually using you know, pumping it out of your fresh water tank. And then here's your porch and ceiling lights here. Uh, your glide rooms, so your slides controls are right here, and then you have your awning uh, retract and uh, all right here. It requires battery hookup uh, to run the slides, so that's why I had the battery pack put, plugged in with it too. Um, vents all the way through for AC, so you got vents in your bedroom, vents in here, all the way to the very back. So you have vents all the way through, so you're going to get nice even flow, cool air in here. This is something new that Keystone did too. It took me a little bit to figure this out, but now I know what it does. It's pretty neat. So this seat will move forward, and you take this cushion, put it back over here, get a little lounge area in front of the TV. So that's a great, uh, great thing for when you're relaxing in the evening, you just want to kick back, or it's raining outside, you can kick back here, sit three people, nice, comfortable here. Uh, when you want to eat dinner, pull the uh, cushion out, put it back, and now you got your booth uh, set up here. This will also turn to a bed and then this will pull out to bed too. And I'll show you what this looks like. Show you how easy setting this stuff up is. So you pull the couch out here like this. You're going to pull the legs out. Slide it down. And then down you go. And then you can put the cushions back up for the headrest there. And you got a nice comfortable bed. You can still walk by it if you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night from the main bed. You can still walk through and get to it. And then tear down. Trick to this is don't make it, just bring like a sleeping bag. Uh, that way you just roll the sleeping bag up, tuck it away, and then put the bed away. So you just know uh, worrying about sheets um, for that. Comes back on. So you also have the big windows here. Uh, a lot of people like those frameless windows that uh, uh, pop out, but you only get about that much airflow going through the bottom of it. It's great for when it rains, but during a day like this, when it's nice windy out, why, why have the AC on when you can open this up and get a nice airflow in here? You got your LED lights over here, which is actually on a dimmer. I don't know if it shows. Can you see how that dimmed? I don't know if it shows on there. Hold the button over. All you gotta do is hold your finger over the button and it, it'll get bright and dim. And you tap it once and it shuts off. Tap it again, turns back on the way you had it. And you can bring it back up to brightness. We'll go over here. This does come with the TV. TV is on a, a pull arm on this, so you can uh, pull it out and rotate it a little bit. If you wanted to have people over here see it too, you can angle it whichever way you want and then just tuck it back away when you're done. Storage above, which has a plug here. You can actually run, uh, if you want to do a DVD uh, player, uh, you can put that in and, and leave it up here. Your radio here is uh, uh, new technology here. So again, this is going to be Bluetooth, so you can pair your phone up to it. You got zone one, zone two. Turn that back off. So that's BTs for the Bluetooth, AM, FM, auxiliary, and all that. And there's USB ports on, underneath there. I'm going to try to point them all out in this camper. They're all over the place, I guess. And more storage under there. It's great for uh, remotes, DVDs, and stuff like that. As we go around here, your A, your, there's, there's the remotes. You want to fold remotes. Um, your fridge here is uh, propane electric, so when you run this, uh, you can run it on auto. So I, run, I always run mine on auto, and then uh, if there's no propane in here, it's actually going to beep after a little bit because I don't have the propane open on this. So what it'll do is it'll, it'll tell me that there's no propane. Uh, so what you would have to do is actually shut it back off, go turn your propane on, you probably have an air pocket in there, so what I tell everybody to do is come over to your stove and light your stove. 
and let your stove run uh, for a couple of seconds until you see that there's no air pockets in it. It'll start flickering um, when it's low, uh, when it's got that air pocket. When it runs for a little bit, then you'll know you turn your fridge back on and it should reset itself and start working again. Uh, you got your range over here, microwave, and then uh, more storage cabinets, which this one, I don't know if you can hear about, you can see that it goes pretty deep in there. And then you got another one above here, great size for plates, dishes, you got area for spice rack. And uh, this is a uh, pressed countertop. So what you're gonna find here is it's uh, pressed over. There's no actually lips here, or like trimming. Um, it's all one piece. So it's not gonna peel up on you in the future. It also has a little area so you can pull this out. Just remember when you run the slide in, you have to put this back down or you will uh, um, end up crushing it. AC controls are right here. GFI plug right here. So you got plenty of plugs in here. There's another plug right here. So you can put a coffee pot, uh, ice, you know, crock pot or something that you want to cook with there. Uh, your area under the sink. This is actually where the furnace blower is. So that actually has an air intake right there. So it's bringing the air in, heating it up, and then blowing it through the vents on the floor. And also, uh, this is a cold weather package one. So it's heating your basement area too. So your uh, um, your pipes, your tanks, and everything. They they place those vents so that way it keeps everything nice and warm. So if you're 30 degrees, you know you wake up and it's real cold in the morning. You get your furnace running. It's going to keep your basement uh, warm, so you don't have to worry about anything freezing up on you. You got your speakers inside here, one on each side. And uh, as we go back here, oh, we let's hit the bedroom before we go all the way in the back. Bedroom is a full queen, and it's got barn doors in here. So the, it's got the magnet. Magnet actually holds it pretty tight. So nice barn doors on those. You actually have storage underneath. So there's a trash can, armrest, and uh, that's a sink cover in here. So let's take this out. Should be in the sink. There's actually USB port plugs on one side or on both sides. I don't know if you can see it there. And then you'll see you have LED light on each side over here, push button, and then uh, over the head here. So you can turn that off at night. Big storage areas, one above on each side. And you got a door on each side with the hanger in it. So you can hang stuff up if you wanted to. And a little area up here for some more clothes. But that's uh, a full length queen, not a short queen. TV hookup on this side too. And then you got your fire escape window for safety. And then the back here. You actually have more storage here. Drawers, little pantry area. And then we're gonna go on the bunk area back here, but you do have another pocket drawer. I should probably show the bathroom. Skip right by it. So this one has a corner shower in it. So nice roller opens up. You got your skylight in there, so it's actually pretty tall. You got your toilet right here, kind of pointed on an angle so you can sit down comfortably. And then you do have a sink in here. And that's the cabinet, and then uh, that's the can up there, and then storage underneath. So you got light there, and then you can actually open this up and turn a fan in here to help vent it out if you're taking a shower and stuff so it doesn't get too hot in here. Now we'll go to the bunker. So back here, you got four double-double bunks. Each bunk has its own USB ports. Um, you got the ladder up here. You got the area down over here. You got LED lights for them to turn on. So they have light under there. And you can actually pick this up and have storage too. So you can put stuff in there before you close the slide. So this slide is out right now. 
you can slide it in um, while you're traveling, but you can put storage in there and stuff. And then you got your cabinets and all the storage space you need back here, underneath. And you come with a nice big TV back here, and you can really just stack up stuff uh, back here for storage space. Uh, shades all around there to just pull down shades and then they got windows on the top bunks over here um, this is the outdoor switch and then you got so this is where they would uh, put a second AC so you'll uh, whenever you see this here above AC circuit so you can actually uh, put this in uh, uh, drop in AC unit there and then right above you there about uh is a wine guard so that wine guard is prepped for um boosting wi-fi from the campgrounds that you go to if they have wi-fi there you can boost their signal to your camper um, they also have the capability of doing 4g networks so depending on what carrier you're on or you can just go through wine garden themselves um they send you uh, i believe it's an sd card that plugs into it and uh you can do 4G. So if you're dry camping in the woods or somewhere else, uh, you have that capability of uh, putting Wi-Fi or a 4G network so you can get on computers and or uh, whatever else you need to do. Run a Roku for the TV or, or anything. Uh, they come. Uh, these campers have come a long way uh, when it comes to technology. They just keep getting better and better, uh, trying to keep up with today's uh, you know industry and and uh, people's uh, personal habits and what they need. Um, was there any questions, Bob? No? no. All right. Well, that's, uh, this is the, again, this is the 2021 Keystone Passport 3400 QB, QB. Um, that QB stands for quad double bunks. So there's four double bunks in this one and it's 38 feet, a little over 30 feet, 38 feet long. It's around 7,500 pounds dry, a little over, uh, lightweight, uh, um, camper. Uh, if you guys have any questions, call us, 716-694-0188, or uh, you know, ask questions here on uh, Facebook Live or uh, whichever uh, media you're on, and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions for you. Uh, thanks a lot, and please share this video. Uh, spread the word. This is a great camper.